What's up, second grade? This is Mr. Hedrick and PBL, and we're here to talk about feet today. Not just any feet, we're going to talk about some animal feet. And I'll introduce my first special guest right now, Vladimir. Boom. There's Vlad. He's sitting in here. He is super angry. Uh, we're going to see if we can get him out of his little ball. I'll put him up here. Boop, boop, boop. See if we can see him walk and look at his feet. Now, it might not seem that way, but Vlad has feet like ours, which means he walks on the sole of his foot. It's called plantigrade. We'll see if we can get him to walk at all. Hello, Vlad. He will poke me. He's kind of an angry guy. Uh, but if I go in and look right at his feet, if we look all the way, we'll be able to see that he's kind of got his whole foot on the ground. And of course, Vlad really doesn't want to cooperate with me. Um, now, the animals we're going to learn about today are actually a little bit different. And then to show you um, a different type of foot, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my second guest. My next guest is right here. Her name is Coco, and she actually walks on her toes when she walks. So right now she's laying down, but there she goes. She's up, and if we look, Coco, up. If we look at how she moves, you'll see just her toes are touching the ground, and that's called digitigrade. And uh, we'll go ahead and learn a little bit more about digitigrade animals. Okay, so we learned about two types of uh, animal locomotion. So animals that walk on their flat feet, like Vlad the Hedgehog, and like you and I. And then we learned about a second group that walks on their toes. And so we're gonna learn a little bit more about those toe walkers. Uh, which is uh, the fancy name for that is a digitigrade. You can see it right there. So it says wolves, bobcats, birds, and other digitigrade animals walk on their toes. Dog feet, foxes, coyotes, wolves, and other dog-like animals are digitigrade. Running on its toes gives a dog-like animal lots of spring in its step. Its feet have soft but tough pads on the bottom. The pads can take lots of wear and tear without breaking through the skin, like shock absorbers. The pads help keep the force of hitting the ground from hurting the animal's leg bones. Next, we have cat's feet. Lynx have little sheaths at the end of their toes. When the cat tenses its leg muscles, its claws stick out, ready for pouncing on prey. When they, But when relaxed, the cat tucks its claws inside the sheaths. This hidden claw feature keeps a cat's claw from getting worn down when walking around, keeping the claws razor sharp for catching prey. Then up here we have bird feet. Oops, that's not what I want. Bird feet. Most have four toes. Some birds, such as chickadees, have three toes in front and one in back. Others, such as woodpeckers, have two toes in front and two in back. Owls use their toes both ways. Sometimes an owl stands with three toes in front and one in the back to perch or reach out to capture prey. An owl can swing its outer front toe to the front for a better grasp. So those are the toe walkers we are learning about today. And with that, I have a little toe walker challenge. So uh, there should be a link to this underneath where you found the link to this video. Um, and down here, here are the three challenges you're going to do. Challenge number one it says cats and dogs spend all day walking on their toes. Let's see if you can last one minute. Have a parent set a timer for one minute and walk around the house on your toes. Don't let your heels touch. All right, so this can be one minute, and you're going to walk around, not just stand in one spot. You're going to try to walk around the whole house, move a lot, see if you can stand your toes without letting your heels touch once for that whole minute. Uh, number two, when we learned about birds, it says birds use their toes to pick up their prey. Choose 10 toys from your room and try to put them away using only your toes. Now, this one's a little tricky. I'm, I have to admit I'm pretty good at picking things up with my toes. It's an amazing skill I have. I impress a lot of people with it. So you can go ahead and go to your room. If your room's already a mess, just use the toys that are already there. If your room is nice and clean, you can kind of spread out 10 toys of your choice and then pick them up again with your feet. And then challenge number three. It says find an animal around the house and draw what their feet look like. If you have a pet, you can use them. So if you have a dog or a hedgehog or a bird or a cat, you can use that. But even if you don't have any animals, you can sit still by the window. And I bet after a while, you'll either see a bird kind of fly by and land or some squirrels moving about. Um, if you have binoculars, great. But even just kind of sitting there, if you want to uh, get a nice little sketch of what an animal around you's foot looks like. Hopefully you have lots of fun with this. I uh, can't wait to hear. 
Have a wonderful day and stay safe. Mm -hmm. How do it? I gotta turn it off there.